In this video, I am painting Robert Pattinson as Batman and this is the reference picture that I am going to use. I like to start with the eyes first because if something goes wrong with them, it's very hard to correct later on. With starting them first, I can quickly discard the whole portrait if something goes wrong and start over again. For the skin tone, he has a pale skin so I am starting with a yellow and orangish undertone and later on I'll add more layers with some reds and browns. So going forward, I'll keep explaining the key ideas on how I approach a watercolor portrait. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing. I'm going to add a lot of in-depth watercolor tutorials. So moving on, like I mentioned, I'm putting in more layers with reds and browns. Important thing here is to let the previous layers dry and then add another layer. Keep the paint diluted in initial layers and increase the concentration of paint only in last few layers. This way you can easily build up complex interplay of colors without actually mixing them. Basically all the mixing happens on paper. So as you see here I am adding darker layers now. Um, the color that I'm adding here is indigo which is a very dark shade of blue but when I apply it on top of skin tones it lets the previous layers shine through and appears as a natural shadow skin tone. For the eyebrows, I am switching to a fine brush to draw a few individual strands of hair. Also our new Batman paints black color around his eyes, which you might remember is visible from his mask. This is a detail that was not shown in previous Batman movies. Starting with the bat suit now, we'll come back to finish the face in a bit. So I'm laying down a base layer of blue and then laying it over with some diluted indigo color. Overall the bat suit is quite straightforward to paint. I'm mostly using indigo mixed with some blue to create a grayish color. The bat suit has fine fabric patterns that would be very difficult to paint if I were to paint them individually. To tackle this, I am fanning out my brush which allows me to paint it quickly. I use the same technique for hair as well which you'll see in a moment. So it's time to finish rest of the face now. Let's use the number 0 brush to create an outline around eyes and to paint the eyelashes as well. For the hair, I first start with a light red as base color because he has various shades of brown in his hair which appear slightly red in bright areas. I'll follow the same layered approach and build up darker colors as I add further layers. Additional thing to note here is that we want to apply brush strokes in the direction of hair. So 
So here we have the complete portrait of our new Batman. I think it'll be interesting to see Pattinson as Batman but let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful then please subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot and keeps me going. So here I have a really interesting video for you next which I think you'll enjoy. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.